But I'd like to share with you something that I want you all to think about, which is what Zan and I, and now a bunch of other people have all agreed, is the best oxymoron of the new millennium. An oxymoron, of course, is something that's internally con inconsistent, like military intelligence, or postal service, jumbo shrimp. Okay? This is the best new oxymoron of the millennium. Successful pickup artist. Please, when you have the time, go and visit worthyplayboys.com. There's lots of things I think are pretty insightful and worthwhile for you all. And when you recognize that you don't need to be anything other than yourselves with women and give them the opportunity to choose by actually being a person that you think is worthwhile enough, don't present yourself as being anything, anything other than what you actually are. And be completely confident and playful. Then women will decide. Maybe they'll decide, hmm, this guy's not right for a long-term relationship, but I'd sure like to fuck him. And when those girls make that decision, don't think they're bad girls. They're not. They're wonderful girls. They're girls who, just like you, don't believe that making up their own mind means they have no self-respect. Is there any guy in here who figures if he makes up his own mind, it means he has no self-respect? Of course not. That's the stupidest thing in the world. Why is it all women have been taught this for so, so long? It's because daddy needs to look at his son and say, well, you're clearly my son, despite the fact you don't look anything like me, because your mommy was a nice girl, a good girl. She didn't put out until our fifth date. Therefore, she's not into sex. Therefore, she wasn't banging the mailman or the cable guy or the guy she was learning Spanish from or any of those other guys that no doubt she was having sex with. So, with this desire to believe that our children are our own, we live in denial and we make women support our denial and women are very good, very good at lying to themselves and others, which is why women don't trust each other. Ask any woman. Say, you know someone said to me today, they said, if there's one thing all men and women can agree upon, it's that you can't trust women. And they'll all go, no. It's not their fault. It's because society has built a framework for them that does not actually apply to them. When these rules were made, women were just property. Women have decided to follow men's rules. These rules were made for men so that other men wouldn't have to worry about those men trying to steal their women. So on that, having no more time, I want to thank you all for your attention. It's been a lot of fun. Come on, man. Give it up for Johnny. Thank you. Not a problem. Good to have you. Thank you.